Hi, Hello. what is your Hi. name? My name is Jean Albert. Jean Albert, what is happening today? It's Monaco International Blockchain, BIM. Do we have some extraterrestrial uh, people around or what is it all about? Uh, no, it's actually it's MIB, so Monaco International Blockchain. Uh, step by step, we try to launch uh, an event regarding this uh, revolution, which would be the, the blockchain. So it's a place for networking, for international people who want to meet. And it's also important for a country like Monaco to uh, be aware of this new technology. So it's your second year? Yeah. So, hi, we are here at uh, Monaco International Blockchain. Do you mean MIB, that, uh, the intelligence coming from uh, the stars? Yes, it is indeed. Uh, we have gathered a lot of stars here from the blockchain and crypto community. And of course, uh, they are bringing their value and light, lighting up this uh, space of uh, Monaco for uh, the savviness of blockchain. That's very important these days to know more about the space and uh, clear the fog and uh, work out the solutions and the opportunities in the blockchain. My name is Mohammed Salman Anjum. I'm the CEO of Blockpreneurs based in uh, UAE and involved in several verticals uh, including events, trainings and enterprise solutions to, of the blockchain. And I have a background of a learning and development, corporate learning and development. And the journey was that I wanted to explore what's in it for uh, blockchain in my field, which is people management and learning and education. So that's how my journey started and I started learning where are the opportunities uh, within the blockchain. And I found out there's plenty of them and then eventually I took it to the other industry areas, other sectors, fintech, aviation, so on and so forth. Uh, like been involved in the space for breathing blockchain for quite some time now and uh, been recognizing that there is a, like a perspective of blockchain in literally every industry and every space. Hello, this is very surprising to me and to the masses because to masses blockchain is known only for bitcoins and cryptocurrencies. But I understand there's much more into blockchain than only uh, kind of strange and dark currencies. That's exactly what I'm like uh, evangelizing for the last couple of years that Bitcoin blanket has to be uh, gone off and yes there is a good application of uh, blockchain in Bitcoin but beyond cryptocurrencies there is like a huge opportunities for the blockchain. It's the next internet to me. Those who are, will miss out will be missing out a big time, big opportunity. And uh, in each space, as I have already mentioned, there is an application for blockchain and practitioners can come up and uh, be like frontier in this application of blockchain. I manage to invite and have uh, people in your panel who are really the best all over the world. Was it difficult to contact them and convince them to come in Monaco? Yes, it's quite difficult, but the good point is uh, in our approach of the event, we say that it's uh, really the, the, the first event and we are the, the, the first to launch this event. So it's why they are more friendly to come and say, okay, we want to help you to, to begin. So it's why people from Korea, USA uh, come to the event to just uh, help us to launch this event. Because in many foreign countries are uh, really developed now. Hi, Eva. Hi. Are you top model? Yes. Uh, movie actor? <laughs> no, I'm not an actor. <laughs> what I'm, a are you doing like? I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman. Come on, you could be my grandson. Yes, I could be. How old are you? 23. Oh, my grandson is 18. Okay. So I need you, because as a grandmother, I need to know everything about blockchain for the nerves, for the dummies. But wait, what is blockchain? Forget blockchain. What really excites me is the idea of decentralized and distributed systems. Finally, there is a way to give power back to the people. So the, the way I see it is, right, I mean, there's a way to give power back to the people, finally, right? Blockchain allows us, gives us systems which are more efficient, less corrupt, and bring more transparency systems. They bring distributed governance. There's a way that people can choose how they are governed. Why did we need centralization? We needed banks and governments 200 years ago when people started doing business outside of the local communities. They did business people they did not know. So we had intermediaries, which are banks and governments. But over time, these banks and governments have become too powerful. They abuse you, they abuse the people. Blockchain gives you the idea that there's a way that you can decentralize that. The people have a control in how they govern. 
and there's a way to distribute distribute systems and run decentralized system. That's the idea. I don't want to go into the technology because people will not understand that. You have to understand. It's basically a glorified spreadsheet. That's all it is. It's basically a ledger where you store data, right? A distributed ledger. The key here is not the fact that it's a ledger or a spreadsheet with transactions. The key here is that it's a decentralized and distributed one. Think about changing the whole models of how governance is done. Think about changing how business is done at a very core level where you're sharing the governance of the business with many stakeholders who are involved with that business is sort of just one or few people controlling it. See, uh, you are not to mix the two, right? Blockchain and cryptocurrencies are not the same. They're linked. It's like a chicken and egg. An egg a chicken gives an egg, right? An egg gives a chicken. So the is blockchain this... is giving the egg? No, no, but Bitcoin was the first white paper, Satoshi Nakamoto, the Bitcoin white paper, that gave us the first blockchain, that gave us the idea of blockchain. This is what I understand. But now we have seen that blockchain has moved quite further along. You can have blockchains without anything to do with cryptocurrencies. You can have a decentralized system, and that's what the banks are doing. They're bringing in more efficient systems, which are helping them govern better and transact better, which have nothing to do with any cryptocurrencies. It's just the blockchain technology by itself which is being used. And then we have the cryptocurrencies, which are providing a financial incentive, and that's reason, big reason why so much growth around this space. Uh, the crypt, when there's money involved, things grow much faster. And th Actually, if uh, we see, we don't need to go into the nuts and bolts of the technology. When we use internet, we don't see uh, what's happening behind when we write www something and com. We need to see how we can utilize this. Yes, it's a technology first, no doubt about that. But at the same time, people see it as a, like a technology, and then when they start learning about the blockchain, within a, like a three to seven days, they just see that it's a difficult technology, and they go off. Start seeing the application areas of this technology. It is a platform. It is a technology which gives you some value, especially for the data integrity, especially for the efficiency of the communication between the network players, and obviously decentralized environment. It is a platform for that. It's a trust platform. You need to understand where are the application areas within your work domain or within your industry. That's what should be the start of yours uh, to be in the blockchain. And once you will see, if you are from the entertainment, just see where are the applications of blockchain for the entertainment area. If you are within the health healthcare, plenty of applications. Just go for the applications, don't go for the nuts and bolts and nitty gritty of the technology. So from Mix to MIB, uh, how come you, you are active in both fields? Uh, actually, we have an expertise in organizing events, especially here in Monaco. So the idea is to work with professionals who are involved in certain industry and help them to organize our meetings or their convention. And are you yourself a blockchain, uh, do you have knowledge about blockchain or yeah. are you a dummy? No, I mean uh, from now one year and a half, I, I can say that I'm more than a beginner. So because I heard, I mean, hear all the, the pitches and conference here. So step by step, yeah, I can say that uh, I have pretty much knowledge in blockchain. So let's meet next year? Yes, of course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. There are now applications which, uh, there's a layer of tokenomics when we talk about uh, blockchain. And then there is a, like a, a matter of a behavioral change. Tokenomics is a big tool you can use for behavioral change. Because once you start rewarding people's behavior, by doing some changes in their behavior, they can be rewarded through tokenomics on the blockchain, on the blockchain solutions. I think this is a revolutionary thing and people are using a lot of personal development, self-development applications which are not rewarding them. Or even if they are rewarding, they are not rewarding in terms of something tangible. When you will have tokens which you can exchange with other like um, famously traded tokens yes then you will be feeling yes i'm getting something if i'm losing weight yes i am i'm getting reward for that if i'm like uh, doing something healthy yes i'm getting reward for that so yes the layer of tokenomics is always very helpful and for the personal development for teaching learning yes it, it is definitely will be helpful. hello i have i'm curious as a journalist so uh, about one month ago mm -hmm. i went on the internet and found two applications and I must say, I quit <laughs> because 
Well, uh, one was an application which is supposed to be allowing you to uh, show some videos like a YouTube, a blockchain YouTube, I forgot the name. And then it, it could never work, you know, so it was very tiring to me because, you know, when I, I try maybe 20 times and it doesn't work. And the other one, I didn't go further because it, it would not work on all platforms on my computer. Mm -hmm. And it was about the uh, travel industry, I don't remember exactly. But I have a feeling, but maybe I'm wrong, that today the killer applications about, about Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies are not public. I mean, I understand some big companies like banks are using blockchain or um, the health industry also. But I mean, uh, like a killer application for the public, do you know it? Uh, not there yet. We are uh, in the space of infancy stage at the moment and the blockchain applications are all sort of hyped up. Uh, it, they will come for sure but uh, not at the moment. Uh, we are still waiting for that killer app in different respective industries. And coming back to your uh, experience of uh, starting the journey of blockchain and losing it after a week or so, that's exactly what I'm saying. Just explore blockchain in your own specific work function. If you are from journalism, see the application of blockchain in the journalism, right? And then you will keep on developing some interest. Probably after two or three months, you will start exploring blockchain's fundamentals, tech fundamentals, and then onwards you will start seeing where are the other application areas. Currently, yes, public sector is the biggest exponent mm. uh, apart from the trade percent, uh, cryptocurrencies. And when I say public sector, regulators, governments, they are using blockchain well, for... Uh, this is what I heard. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, I've heard that um, blockchain, I don't know how to call it, it's technology or industry because it's computing in the end. Blockchain is very energy uh, greedy. Okay. And so lots of people say, oh, it's technology of the future. I say, but how do we go green blockchain? Okay, that's basically a bit of uh, like uh, more awareness is required in that regard. We are, to, when we talk about uh, consumption of energy going, <coughs> sorry, uh, that is for proof of work. Bitcoin is using that. Yes, there is a waste of energy in that pers particular pr perspective. But when we talk about private blockchains, they are not on pr proof of work. They are on proof of stake. Okay. Right? So they are not using that much energy. Of course, you have to keep the computing go live. Energy will be required for that, but not that much as you required for the mining of the cryptocurrencies. So this is again a, like a bit of a lack of clarity <coughs> regarding this concept and uh, moving forward uh, we are seeing lot less application of uh, proof of work and more on the proof of stake which will make it more green. Um, what is the killer application <coughs> according to you for the next 10 years? I think governments will be the, uh, using it very much. Fintech already is the killer applications like we are using uh, it for the intra inter department settlements, inter organization settlements, inter like bank to bank transfers. But governments for their land registry records, for their other areas, that will be the big thing. Dubai is doing a lot in that respect. And moving forward, two years from now, by 2021, they will be putting everything, uh, almost 50% of the transactions on the blockchain. They will save 5.5 billion dollars a year which is a cost equivalent to one Burj Khalifa the tallest building in the world so it's a killer application on its own but it is in the progress it will be two years from now we'll see that application and obviously there are more governments which will follow that and start using blockchain in their operations of governance so and that also, will be the first one I also read I'm sorry I interrupted you I also read that um, Banks at the beginning would see blockchain as a competitor yes. because of um, coin and yeah, uh, the features of blockchain. Voila, but now they have understood they can create their own block, they can use blockchain for themselves, and this will save a lot of time and money to them. Do you know of some banks which are already using blockchain in their own um, yes. systems? I will not name, but there are like around. 15% banks globally have already started using blockchain in their like operations. The World Economic Forum's uh, statistic is that by the end of 2020, 
around 85% of the banks will start using blockchain in some kind of operations of their uh, banking. But they still are using it on the stage of POC, which is proof of concept. So we are not expecting again these uh, blockchain applications to go at a production stage. Production stage, yes, McKenzie's survey released in the July this year is mentioning that somewhere around 2023 or 2025, that's the range they are giving us basically that blockchain will be mature enough to be going into the production standard. Okay. So meantime, yes, POCs, pilots are the way going forward because it's a tricky area. We are thinking about uh, going decentralized, not centralized anymore, or we want to go in a parallel way for the both uh, centralized and para uh, decentralized uh, computing or uh, d keeping the data. So for that, you need to start small. And the POCs and the pilots are at the moment is the time to do the, these things rather than going production level. And by a few years from now, we'll see the production level. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, Ducatus quiere ser una moneda del pueblo, no una moneda especulativa, porque queremos inter intercambiar con uh, um, varios negocios. La gente puede eh, comprar y vender con esta moneda, no como otras que pueden ser solo especulativas. Eh, ¿A dónde eh, yo puedo eh, comprar eh, Ducatus? Eh, Ducatus, en, eh, nosotros tenemos un una back office. Eh, nosotros mismos podemos eh, eh, presentar la oportunidad a una persona y la persona puede comprar cualquier tipo de, de paquete de monedas y tenerlas en su en su back office. Your company is giving a bit of what tonight, it's one hundred thousand yes. dollars, which is quite a chunk of money, to the best pitch, is that right? Yes. What is according to you the best pitch? It really varies. Uh, it's it's different for each company. You don't know what's the uh, it really depends on the company. In the end of the day I like I tell people dope sells itself. If you have a great product and a great team it's going to be a great pitch. It doesn't matter. You can have the best pitch with the wrong team and wrong product. You'll never get anywhere. Exactly. So, so this is pure money. So it's the first paid team and sort of on the train. We will bring the train team. Which one did you do? Did you... Bravo! So it's in, oh, it's in BTC. We will, we will see the, the paid team for you. In which place would you uh, put the freight team? I have a lot of houses in the world. We all remember Will Smith. And uh, so they win a complimentary stand for the next one. So we will have pleasure to welcome them on the next one. I had the opportunity to spend a good couple of days with the team here and get to know them very, very well. And I really like the project they're doing in impacting a billion people. Thank you, Jan from Vida. You are very young. Uh, I read that you built your first, you sold your first application where you were 13, 14 years old. Is that right? Yes, yes. Oh my God. So, what is your mom and dad? What are your mom and dad doing? Are they in the um, computer world or anything? No, no. Else? My parents are fashion designers. They make clothes. Oh my uh, God. They make clothes. Yes. How uh, old were you the first time you realized you were going to be crazy about computing? Um, I, well, I started when I was 12. I started uh, playing with computers when I was 12 years old. And so I started... it's playing? You started playing? Yes, with computers. So that's bad news for all the moms and dads that your kids don't play with computers? Well, it, 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 it depends. It depends how you play. I was I was actually building something. Some people ah. mostly play games. So I was, build, I was building something, yes. So without giving you big but the word... Th I, I use the word play because I love doing it. End of the day, if you want to be successful in life, you've got to do what you love. If you always do what you love, you will never feel like working. You always feel like playing because you like. So that's always the key. one of the very important reasons why I'm successful is because I do what I love, and without that, it doesn't help. If I don't like something anymore, I leave it, and I do go do something I like. He's uh, part of the. Um, 
successful, most successful, yeah, most successful uh, kids uh, in India. Kids, right? not the kids anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Men in India, one of the ten most, only one of the ten or one of the three? Uh, one of the three. <laughs> so what is your next project in life? What is the next thing that you would I'm, I'm a, I'm a parallel entrepreneur, so I'm always working on multiple companies at the same time, right? The way I see it is I help grow companies and incubate companies. The different projects I'm involved with at all time. I mean, here even I'm involved with this project here. I'm involved with this project here. I am also giving as many feedback to other people. But yeah, uh, that's the idea. Yeah. And do you also plan to have a family, wife and kids? Not now, in the future. Uh, that's not a priority for now. So, right uh, now I want to make an impact. back to blockchain, if you were to you three words to describe what blockchain is going to bring to the world in the next 10 years, what would that be? I think, like I said, for me, blockchain is a technology. Technologies come and go. But the idea of decentralized and distributed systems has been laid. We will see a lot of progress in governance. We will see a lot of changes in policy. We'll see a lot of businesses being more transparent thanks to implementation of blockchain and decentralized systems. Ever think of doing anything into politics? Uh, not right now, but in the future soon. For sure. I don't, I don't think I'm a politician, I'm a businessman. Well, I mean, it's three different Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 I forgot to ask, what are you a playboy? Because I, I saw your uh, Instagram. I'm, like, not I'm not a playboy. I'm not, not a playboy. No, 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 no. I'm not, not a playboy. Not. Yeah, businessman. <laughs> So, uh, originally from New York City, but now I live in the beautiful island of Puerto Rico, and I'm also based in Seoul, Korea, and now we're in Monaco. But what is happening in Monaco? Are you partying for the Grand Prix or what? <laughs> Am I driving? Do I look like a race car driver? Uh -huh. I do like a fast life, but no, I'm in the blockchain space and I came for a blockchain conference. And so, what is your special blockchain niche? My niche basically is go-to-market strategies. So we focus on launching um, security tokens, projects, and I have been a personal consultant in Asia and Latin America for over 10 years. So I help connect projects and we also have an investment fund. So we also invest in projects. Um, honestly, I, I'm very big on social impact and I've always been doing work in, in tech and in technology. Technology excites me. It's something that connects everyone, right? But what, what inspires me about blockchain is that blockchain and a system of decentralization gives people power is able to bank the unbanked and give peer-to-peer -peer transactions. So that's what has inspired me because I can accomplish my business interests and my social impact interests. So right now in my portfolio, we have a gaming company called Monetizer, monetizer.io. And basically it is a platform that every gaming studio can use. So gamers inside different games can have the same kind of token. So now this is a decentralized token that they can use in all the games and start earning money. But they use it in the games and when they want to use it in the real world, what happens? Well, stay tuned because we're having agreements with smart cities and other payment processors so they can cash out their coins at a local cafe and at a, at a place in real life. So when will that be, do you think? We've already signed an MOU with one of these smart cities companies. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's happening. It's already happening. And even if that doesn't happen right away, right away they can switch the coin to other cryptocurrencies and then cash those out. Well, um, this is the thing. You know, blockchain is the technology that, that, that drives cryptocurrency, right? So honestly, it's not only social media, but every single industry can be affected by blockchain. I'm not going to say it's the right choice for everything because blockchain developing is, is expensive. It's expensive. Yeah, so it's, I'm not going to be the evangelist that says, let's change everything to no, because you have to think about the business model. You have to think about, is this efficiency going to be worth the cost? This is it. This is it, yeah. So if it's not worth, we just do an analysis, right? So 
that's what I'm saying and, and part of what our company does is we go to the big corporations we go to the fortune 500 and we say listen this is an aspect of your business that can efficiently be changed to blockchain technology this is how you can do it and we create an MVP for them Eventually. Yes. So you told me you have decided to sponsor this event, right? I did, yes, 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 very much. Actually, I was on a blockchain cruise and we stopped by Monaco and I was inspired. I actually, I'm also from an island, Puerto Rico. We're incorporated there and I fell in love with Monaco and I met the organizers and they gave me the opportunity to come hosting a dinner and really I want to get to know people in this community and be available to people that want to know about blockchain and if they have a portfolio and they want to invest in blockchain we have all the experts in the industry to help them do that. Well, I'm going to be in this industry for a long time. I'm still very young and I'm in the long run so honestly I want to make deeper connections with the city of so if people can know my brand, if people can start to get to know how I do business and start building trust, I want them to know that if they ever have an interest in cryptocurrencies, in blockchain, investing in projects or investing in speculation, I am here for them. Act Ventures is here for them. We can take their portfolio and help them grow. Je m'appelle Emile Josselin. Je m'occupe de la communication de la stratégie de Mono ici, la crypto monnaie. Crypto monnaie. Mais alors c'est une crypto monnaie qui est liée à Monaco d'une manière ou d'une autre Alors c'est une crypto monnaie qui n'est pas euh, une crypto monnaie de l'état monégasque, euh, qui a été créée euh, par euh, des gens qui sont autour de Monaco, euh, qui est aujourd'hui une association euh, monégasque, euh, mais qui n'est pas aucunement sponsorisée par euh, la France. Non, d'accord. Qui dit, regarde mais ça mais avec votre, un... le nom de votre crypto monnaie sonne un petit peu monégasque. Alors Mono ici, c'est le nom euh, latin, de, latin de Monaco, c'est parce qu'on considère que Monaco est un territoire à la fois fertile en innovation et en investissement, et que donc c'est tout naturellement que les fondateurs qui habitent dans la région se sont tournés vers Monaco et son environnement pour créer cette crypto-monnaie. Voici maintenant un peu plus d'un an et demi. Alors votre crypto-monnaie, si j'ai bien compris, elle a pour objectif de devenir une monnaie qu'on pourrait utiliser partout, y compris pour les micro-paiements, pour aller acheter ma baguette avec Alors l'objectif c'est ça, c'est déjà un peu le cas à Monaco puisqu'il y a certains restaurants comme My Sushi qui acceptent euh, le mono ici. Euh, L'objectif au-delà de tout ça, c'est euh, de faire œuvre de pédagogie. C'est pour ça qu'on fait euh, au long de l'année des ateliers pour euh, comprendre et investir dans les crypto-monnaies, euh, pour permettre à chacun euh, de pouvoir l'utiliser dans sa vie quotidienne et surtout de dépasser les peurs qu'il peut y avoir euh, sur ce sujet-là. Alors comment je fais pour acheter euh, des, de, du mono ici Alors aujourd'hui c'est assez simple. Le mono ici est listé sur un certain nombre de places de marché. Euh, virtuel, euh, spécialisé dans l'échange de crypto-monnaies. Donc vous déposez euh, de l'argent, soit de l'argent euh, euh, des devises d'État, comme de l'euro ou du dollar, ou soit des devises virtuelles, comme du Bitcoin, ou du ouais. Ripple, ou de l'Ether. Ouais. Et vous pouvez, avec ça, acheter euh, du mono ici. On a une, euh, on a une wallet, un, un portefeuille, euh, à la fois sur ordinateur et sur application euh, Android et iPhone, qui vous permet ensuite euh, de le dépenser et ou de l'investir et de l'échanger contre d'autres monnaies. Alors je vais vous poser la question que tu on a dû vous poser vous 3 attends. millions de fois. C'est mais alors cet argent, c'est la génération spontanée. Comment est-ce qu'on fait pour créer de l'argent à partir de d'objets numérisés, du, du numérique Alors cette, euh, cette génération spontanée, comme vous dites, elle repose sur la technologie dite de la blockchain. Euh, qui est en gros un mécanisme de certification, c'est-à-dire que chaque transaction est euh, consignée dans un registre public et peut donc être consultée. Et euh, cet argent, il est créé soit par du, ce qu'on appelle du mining ou du minage, c'est-à-dire... Euh, J'ai des ordinateurs qui voilà. travaillent. Donc cette technologie, elle, elle est basée sur du mining ou du minage, c'est-à-dire des ordinateurs qui travaillent à la certification des transactions ou sur des serveurs loués, et Mono ici est une des toutes premières monnaies en termes mondial pour le nombre de serveurs, avec plus de 3000 serveurs, qu'on appelle des masternodes. Donc chacun investit dans la certification et la sécurisation du réseau et en échange se voit récompensé d'unité monétaire. Donc c'est de l'argent qui est créé à partir de, de données virtuelles finalement Il est créé à partir de données virtuelles et aussi à partir de l'investissement que font les uns et les autres oui. dans la certification. Oui, dans mon oui. ordinateur, l'électricité. Il paraît que ça coûte très cher en électricité. Alors, euh, si vous faites du mining ou du minage, effectivement, ça coûte très cher en électricité. Euh, avec 
la technologie que nous on a privilégiée, c'est-à-dire les master nodes, c'est-à-dire la location de serveurs, c'est quelque chose de beaucoup moins cher. Et la nouvelle version de Mono ici sera beaucoup plus légère et prendra en compte des préoccupations environnementales parce qu'effectivement, euh, les crypto-monnaies à l'échelle mondiale euh, finissent par consommer grand bah, nombre d'énergie. Toujours... Il y a des tentatives pour les recycler, chauffer des piscines, chauffer des bâtiments, mais euh, on n'en est encore qu'au début. So, uh, according to you, what would be the next killer application about Bitcoin? Everybody knows about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Uh, according to you, what is the next killer application for blockchain? Do you have an idea? I think, yeah, maybe in the real estate, uh, blockchain could help real, really. Um, because, I mean, blockchain is really important for securing uh, when you have big amount of money and also uh, what would be like the owner and the seller. And uh, if you look at the uh, market of the real estate in the world, it's, it's pretty much, it's, I mean, it's massive. So I think production could be uh, really successful in this industry. Je représente la société Swiss Invest Capital et ton projet, le Swinka Coin. Qu'est-ce que c'est, Swinka Coin Swinka Coin, écoutez, Swinka Coin, c'est très simple. C'est un projet qui est basé sur l'immobilier avec une monnaie euh, adossée, bien entendu, à le coin, on va appeler ça le coin qui est adossé à ce projet immobilier. Pourquoi le coin Le coin, bon, on appelle ça un coin, c'est un, oui, un une sou, monnaie, sou, voilà, un c'est un sou, on va dire c'est une monnaie virtuelle, exactement. Euh, le projet est bien entendu adossé à une banque, cette banque va vous permettre de, de réceptionner... Enfin, bien entendu, bien entendu, toutes les monnaies virtuelles ne sont pas adossées à des banques. Non, toutes les monnaies virtuelles ne sont pas adossées à des banques. La nôtre est adossée à une banque, nous avons acquis le, la licence bancaire, donc nous avons la possibilité maintenant de pouvoir euh, vous transformer, euh, transformer vos exactement. En cash. exactement. Vous allez pouvoir avoir l'usufruit de votre investissement sur votre compte bancaire. Et vous pourrez le dépenser en carte bancaire quand vous allez au restaurant avec votre époux, votre femme, peu importe. Swinka. Et alors pourquoi voilà, avez-vous choisi euh, le bitcoin et l'immobilier je rectifie juste une chose, c'est pas le bitcoin, hein. oui, c'est notre, voilà, notre monnaie à nous. Voilà, c'est c'est notre monnaie à nous personnelle. Mais c'est comme Frigidaire. Et nous l'avons et nous l'avons choisi pourquoi Parce que le, euh, les projets immobiliers, on va, vous allez pouvoir acheter grâce à notre monnaie des appartements, les louer et comme je vous disais tout à l'heure, euh, tirer l'usufruit de, de cet investissement des bénéfices sur votre compte qui vous sera alloué quand vous allez rentrer Alors, sur la plateforme. En quoi Swinka est plus intéressant qu'un système traditionnel. Rapidité de la, de la transaction, si je puis dire, puisque sécurité vous allez pouvoir acquérir aussi. sécurité, bien entendu. Blockchain dit euh, transparence totale. Voilà. Euh, vous allez pouvoir, bien entendu, euh, acheter partout dans le monde en un clic. En un clic, vous achèterez partout dans le monde. Vous aurez le titre de propriété qui vous sera envoyé, bien entendu, puisque vous allez passer par un fonds d'investissement immobilier qui nous appartient également. C'est un projet qui est totalement hermétique, c'est-à-dire qu'il n'y a pas d'intermédiaire. On gère... C'est en interne. C'est en interne. On gère tout de A à Z. Donc là, de ce côté-là, vous n'avez plus aucun souci à vous faire. Et vous allez, gros atout du projet, vous allez pouvoir... Enfin, nous allons pouvoir tokeniser un bien. C'est-à-dire qu'en fait, vous allez, si vous avez par exemple que 5 000 ou 10 000 euros, vous allez pouvoir acheter un faible pourcentage d'un appartement, d'une maison, d'un bien, ce qui va vous permettre de placer votre argent. Nous allons proposer des taux qui sont variables entre 7 et 12 mensuels, bien entendu, reversés en SWI sur votre compte que vous allez ouvrir chez nous sur la plateforme. Et le nom de votre société, c'est C'est Swiss Invest Capital, ça c'est la maison mère qui est basée à Zoug en Suisse, et le coin, c'est le Swinka Coin, SWI sur les marchés financiers.